and say praise the Lord Wow what an atmosphere of freedom and deliverance here tonight I want to welcome the audience that is watching us now on social media Facebook live uh, live stream from all over the world literally on the thousands are watching us I want to say thank you and tonight is gonna be a powerful night Bienvenido a todos los que nos miran de alrededor del mundo. Hay miles de personas que están mirando en Facebook, en live stream. Y lo que Dios va a hacer aquí, va a hacerlo en tu casa. Amén. Are you happy? Can you hug somebody really good? And then take your seats if you will. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. How many of you, this is the first time you come to an event? We've been here for four days. How many of you is your first time today? Raise your hands. Wow. Well, welcome today. God bless you. Listen, for the last uh, uh, three days, this is our fourth night. My goodness, heaven came down. How many of you were here? That's a fact. On the 31st, I mean, the heavens were open. The prophetic spirit was powerful. Hundreds of people came. People have come from all over the world, from all over the U.S. And I think something new is taking place on the atmosphere of your lives. You believe that? Now remember this. God, it's all about atmospheres. Somebody wrote me yesterday on Facebook and they said, well, give me a chapter and a verse. And I go, well... You know, there are things that the scripture teaches, but there's a spirit of revelation that opens the scripture and shows you things that only the Holy Ghost can show you. You know, God, if God would have explained every spiritual law that exists, the Bible will be a million pages. You will never be able to read it. So God gives you the logos of the word. God gives you the word that he felt we need to hear because I'm going to tell you something. The Bible, it's the word of God. But it's not everything God has ever said. Are you with me? No, no, no. I'm not saying the Bible is not the word of God. I didn't say that. But I'm saying the Bible is only a little portion of what God is saying that he wanted us to know. But there's still there's volumes that God wants us to know that is going to take us eternity to discover it. Hello? Because people say if it's not in the Bible, you know, it cannot be God. I understand what you're saying when it deals with weird doctrines and weird beliefs. But there's such a thing in the Bible as the spirit of revelation. Anyone ever heard of the spirit of revelation? And the spirit of revelation, literally, it will get into the written word and open it on half, like the way you open an orange, you know what I mean? And it brings riches and wisdom and, and things that will feed your life and take you to another dimension. Not that we are deviating from the truth. We are just getting the juice out of the truth. Hello, do you understand what I'm saying? And I know people uh, have a hard time because they say, if it's not chapter and verse, it's not God. Yes, but you need to hear with spiritual ears. Hello? <laughs> Even the baby say yes. So it is important that you pay attention with your spirit to what God is saying. Jesus said this. Men shall not live by bread alone. But. That. You notice he never said by every word that came out of the mouth of God. Because if men lives by every word that came. Means we are limited on revelation. But Jesus gave it on present tense. Men shall live by every word that proceeds. In other words God keeps talking even through his word. And even in other ways. Hello. Oh, I can feel some of you don't like it because you try. You know, some of us, we come from traditional places. We're like, well, I don't believe it. But God still talks today. Hello. Not only through prophets. Okay, not only to prophets. But he still talks through his word. Revelation that exactly is not on the page, but is revealed by the spirit as you get into the word. Am I being clear? And I know that people are going to write me saying that whatever you say is heresy. But listen well to what I'm saying. I'm not taking from the word. But man, the word of God 
you gotta realize something the word of god it was never words you see you and i we speak words right and words come out of our mouth and and in fact can i tell you something about words words that come out of your mouth they will never end Where's chapter and verse? Wait, it's revelation what I'm giving you now. You see, you think when you receive a word, like a word, not a prophetic word, any word. Hey, hi, how are you? Whatever. You think that as soon as it hits your ears, it's done. Yeah, to you it's done because it, it hits your ears, went through your brain, you process it into your heart or whatever. But words are more than just sound. Words carry spirits. Hello? Help me out here, brother Joe. Because that thing, some of the Methodists came to visit us tonight. So Jesus said, the words that I speak shall never return void. In other words, when God releases a word, it keeps going for eternity. Why? Because words carry spirits. Hello? And you have the ability by the holy ghost when you speak to release words that carry spirit listen that it will go forever before you creating <laughs> creating a path and creating a world for you if you want to call it did you understand what i just said that's what the bible says be quick to hear slow to speak why because your words eventually will come back to hunt you hello and words will define what you receive and what you are. I hope you understand what I'm saying. I don't want to go too deep on that. And I know you go to a traditional church and you don't hear revelation. But I'm telling you things from the spirit. So when you pray. How many of you pray? And you release words. Your prayer forever is before the presence of God. Isn't that something? Some people says, God, have you heard my prayer? You see, God doesn't hear sound. He sees spirits. Oh, you need to hear what I'm saying. And that's why God will answer your prayers. He can never forget prayers because your prayers are continuously circling God and circling heaven until they manifest and become fulfillment into your life. <laughs> That's why when God speaks to you when you are a child and you can go, you can get on drugs and go to prison and backslide and you can go that rebellious way, you can become an atheist. But if God ever spoke or put a seed of his word on the inside of you, you can become Satan's number one agent on the earth. The word of the Lord eventually will bring you back to the place that he designed for your life. Come on, Joe, come on. Somebody said the word, the word of the Lord shall not return void. Why am I saying this? To give you hope for your future. A lot of people come to me yesterday, came and said, you know, well, my father, my brother, my sister, you know, they used to serve God, but now they against God. And I will say this to you, relax. While I'm trying to convince you to come back, don't try. Because you are powerless compared to the seed of the word that is planted in your spirit. If you have children, if you have spouses, and God released the word to them, I don't care how far they go away, the word that is always alive eventually will bring them back to the place of destiny. Somebody said the word never returns void. And that's the power of the prophetic. Just stay with me for a second. That's the power of the prophetic. Because the prophetic is not just a word. A lot of people says, give me a word. What they want is information. God is not all about information. God is about revelation. Because information fills your head. Revelation brings manifestation. Are you with me? And that's why when I talk to certain people, and I noticed that they want something from the prophetic anointing that's on my life. But when I notice they don't get it, I don't even waste my time speaking words. You hear what I'm saying? Because 
if they don't understand what a prof what, oh, I like this. If you don't understand what a prophetic anointing can do just by you being around it, you are lost. You know, many people in my team and people that work with me, just by being around the mantle that God has given me, everything on their life is beginning to, to be blessed and to change. And there's anointings on them. And there's words. There's prosperity on them. Why? Because the anointing, the prophetic anointing carries an influence. Somebody say influence. That's what the Bible says. Believe in the prophets and you shall prosper. I met with a person recently and they said, well, prophet, can you tell me something from God? And when I'm talking, he goes, yeah, but no, that, I mean, go, and, and I go, then you don't understand what you're asking. Look at the power of the prophetic. When Elijah, prophet Elijah, died and they buried him on a hole. Years went by and somebody else's son died and they put his dead body on the same hole that they did not know it belonged to a prophet when they lay the dead body on top before they could cry their last tear the dead body came back to life the prophetic has resurrection power and here tonight, you are not in a pastoral ministry. You are not on a typical church. You are in the presence of a prophetic ministry. And the anointing that's on my life has power to change you. If you are able to discern it. But if you don't discern it, there's no point. Somebody say i must see it to receive it to discern means to see it are you with me today and you know and i'm telling you something this event is called releasing the healing and prophetic mantle a lot of people say a prophet i came so you can give me a prophetic word and i go you don't understand because I mean, I don't mind. If God gives me a word, I will release it. You know I me, mean? I'm not going to hold what God says. But you don't understand. It's not, it's not just the words that will bring change. It's the surrounding and the influence of the anointing that you come around. Oh, you better listen to me because some of you have no idea what I'm talking about. So the Bible says, believe God's prophets and so shall you prosper. Come here, Doug. Get a microphone. Quickly, where's the microphone for that, gentlemen? Thank you, Lysandra. Is it on? Yeah. yeah. I'll give you one example. Doug is one of my most faithful uh, brothers, servants, serves me and this ministry with all of his heart. One time he came to the house uh, and gave me a seed. And when he put that seed on my hand, I release a word to him. Now check this out. And I said, you are going to make, what was the first time? $50,000. How much was your seed? First time um, that you didn't know about was uh, $700. $700. But he put it in the hand of the prophet. And I said, you make 50000 How long? Did it pass before the 50,000 was in your account? Two weeks. And then in two weeks, listen, in two weeks, on my birthday, December 18, he comes and blesses me and gives me another seed. And I said to them, as soon as I touched it, like put this on my hand, you know, as soon as I touched it, I said, you're going to make $100,000 now in no time. Am I speaking the truth? Yes. How soon after that you had the hundred thousand that you showed me on your account on your bank? Um, within a month. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Now, why am I saying this? Because he, it's around a prophetic anointing, and a prophetic anointing always releases blessings to people's life. Oh, you need to hear what I'm saying. Yours. Oh, Jesus. Amen. Now, 
I'm telling him for a hundred thousand, we're gonna go to a million. Yes. And the Bible I says, if it. you believe the prophet, you shall prosper. I believe the prophet. Ah, uh, you don't. Uh, okay, Mark, get a microphone. Give, thank you, brother Doug. Mark is. I have three right hand men. I have three hands. He's one of the most faithful servants in this ministry. A little while ago, when he came to us, when he came to this ministry, he was making, before you came out, what was your yearly income? About 55000 And you, are a, you have your own business, you have your own staff, an incredible talented man in the area of his business. And he began to partner with us, and he began to uh, tithe into our ministry. What happened after that, that you shared with me one time? Yeah, the first year... My wife and I, we said, we're going to tithe every week, whatever comes in, we're going to tithe it. And that year, when the next year we did our taxes, we were $120,000. And when we were doing our taxes, our accountant said, but this, this you, you doubled your income, and this doesn't make sense. And then uh, uh, when he, we uh, had our tax receipts for our giving, he goes, but you jumped so much more in your giving. And uh, we can't show the IRS that you gave $12,000 more than you did the year before. And he goes, well, if you got the receipts, we're going to do it. But we doubled. We got doubled double your income. Income, one year. And at that time, I was a subcontractor for a company. So I was limit that I worked for that company nine years, and I made that same amount. So that year, I started tithing. I was working for somebody, basically. Yeah. So, and not only that, not only your income double, God gave you your own business yep. and what you used to do working for somebody else, now yep. you're doing it for yourself. Yep. And, uh, what else? And Listen to this. The, the first year uh, in business for myself, I did a quarter million dollars. Wow. Yeah, 250000 Now, how do you know that part? Yeah. And actually, when I quit my job, when God told me to quit my job, it sounds like crazy, I saved up enough money to, you know, for a, a month's income, basically. At that time, we had like four or five thousand, and then uh, you gave me the opportunity to go to Indonesia with you. Yeah. Spent all my money going to Indonesia. Yeah. Came back, <laughs> all that money was gone, and the day I landed back in Orlando, being gone for a month, I got a phone call from a contractor, and I made it in one day while I used to make it a week. And since then, you know, God's rolled it out. Somebody so. said the prophetic brings increase. Man, you need to say it. The prophetic brings increase. Diego, come over here. You know, I'm telling you this because God wants to do something for you guys. For you that believe. Because if you believe God's prophets, you will prosper. If you do not, go ahead and have fun. Diego, come over grab a mic. Diego and his wife. Diego is my other right hand man, believe it or not. His wife, Teresa, is my assistant my secretary she runs all my ministry affairs if you ever call my office if you ever want to get to me you go through her that's the way it is okay and he came to me and his uh he was a successful businessman the economy fell lost the house you went through what most people want in america right when he came to me he was living with his three children four children at the in-laws house no work the car was about to be repo, financially in a mess, straining his marriage because when you have financial money, your marriage suffers, whether you like it or not. One time I took him to um, uh, Starbucks and I told him, if you put, if you give me one year and you and your family submit yourself under the mantle that God has given me. I say, your life will never be the same again. And you will recover everything the devil stole. You know what they did? They said, yes, sir, we're going to do it. Now, brother, tell them what happened after that. And from being on your mom's in-law to having no work. Where people have to literally lend you money to pay the groceries. I'm talking about a couple years ago. And I'm talking about 10 years ago. What happened now? So... I recently landed a six-figure uh, contract. I went from being totally in the gutter all the way back up top. 
But I want to tell you why. I want yeah. to tell you why. Not only the, the profit, obviously, but even through the hard time, I gave. I gave. Yeah. Even when I couldn't give, I still gave. And this is not a gimmick. This is truth, biblical yeah. truth. Even through my hard times, yeah. when I needed that money for something else, I still gave. Sacrificially, I gave. And that's, I believe that's why I'm here in the profit. And now you, got, you had a six-figure contract. Correct. And you got out of your in-laws house. You have your own place own in Claremont. Place. You have your vehicle Brandy was not truck. repo because you were hiding the vehicle yeah, in the garage. Yeah, now you I don't was. hide it no more. Unfortunately, I was. <laughs> and not only that, an anointing on his life for deliverance and casting out devils came mighty on him. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, sir. Somebody said the prophetic brings increase. And I can tell you 10 different testimonies. But those spoke to me today and told me this. You tell the people that in 2017, if they understand the soil in which they're sowing, I will increase them like I increase those people that I just share with. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I don't care if you believe me or not. That is what God told me for many of you. Hello? Say the prophetic, the prophetic brings increase. Now, I want you to go to the Bible real quickly if you have. If you don't have it, it's okay. But I want you to go to, or just listen, Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. Listen to this. I feel the anointing of what I'm saying because God, listen, God wants to get you out of the gutter in 2017. You know, prophetically, God is going to get the U.S. out of the gutter. You see, and, and I'm going to tell you something as a prophet, not as a political person. The election of Donald Trump, whether you like it or not, it's a God-appointed election. And I'm not talking as a politician, I'm talking as a prophet. Early last year, I prophesied on Sirrath that he will become the president when everybody tells me you're crazy. The poll says Hillary has 98 against you. And all the prophets said, but God said, my plan is to use, thank you guys. My plan is to use this man to bring bring America out of the gutter and I prophesy it in 2015 January 2015 but listen politically and socially God's gonna use this man whether I know many people don't like this to bring a cleansing and to close the gap that was gonna destroy this nation are you hearing what I'm saying why him I don't know why him but God chooses whoever he wants to choose but God is already on the move in the nation. When God moves in the natural, the spiritual is also being stirred. Oh, no, you're not, you're not hearing me. God gives you a sign, and then you see change. You see that newness comes. And then you see that God begins to remove the things that was burdening his people. When you begin to see that, it's a sign that in the spiritual, in your lives and in the church, God is about to close the gutter also so that you can walk in the blessing that he always assigned you to walk into. Oh, some of you don't believe me. You, you, you just came here to check me out. Say after me the prophetic brings increase so the scripture says in galatians do not be deceived god cannot be mocked a man reaps what he sows right let me read it again galatians 6 7 do not be deceived god cannot be mocked a man reaps what he sows no, a lot of people use this verse just for sin. Oh, well, if you keep doing bad things, you're going to reap bad. But listen, God never gave this verse so that you can be exposed and fall because of the shortcomings that you have. Let's not use the scripture to twist, to twist it towards the, 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 the suffering of men. But in every area, when, when Galatians says, do not be deceived, you know what that means? Um, this is what it means. 
it works whether you like it or not <laughs> oh jesus i feel such a resistance in what i'm saying you don't understand when god says do not be deceived he's saying it's gonna work whether you like it or not so believe it because it shall work why because god cannot be mocked in other words god will not fail on what he says no one can say god you didn't do it god says i can never be mocked what i said it shall be so in galatians pastor Rui, when he says do not be deceived god is saying hey guys stop trying to argue and stop trying to study it and start trying to analyze it don't waste your time take it for what it's worth God cannot be mocked. In other words, no one will ever come back and say, Ha, huh, God, it didn't happen. And then he drops revelation here. He says, Whatsoever a man sows, the same shall he reap. Say after me, the same, the same. shall he reap. You notice that he says, Whatever you sow, the same. He did not say, if a man sows, he shall reap something. He said the same. You know why? Because every seed produces according to its kind. Oh, you better talk to me, uh, uh, Jehovah Witnesses. The seed produces according to its kind. If you sow oranges, you get oranges. If you sow marijuana, you get marijuana. If you sow roses, you get roses. You don't sow oranges and a papaya tree comes out. I don't care how much you pray. If Listen, you can be a man of faith or you can be an atheist. If you sow a seed, it will produce what a seed carries on the inside. So God says, don't be deceived. I don't fail. Whatever you are willing to sow the same you shall get if you sow honor honor shall come back to you if you sow friendship friendship will come back to you if you sow respect respect will come back to you are you hearing what i'm saying many women they grab me and they say i am tired men don't respect me and when i go to their facebook men they're clubbing they have mini skirts and the cleavage is open and they look like a bunch of horse and i say well you sowing this you're reaping and respect so don't be a whore and trying to reap respect are you hearing what i'm saying hey whatsoever a man or a woman sows the same shall he reap oh jesus i love it my question is this what do you want in life well i want whatever god wants no 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 what do you want in life when you define what you want in life then you now have ability to be, begin sowing towards it You know, when I was growing up and I was newly saved, I served the person that was my pastor, my spiritual father for many years. I'll bring the water, I'll catch the people, I'll do anything. And I did it with joy. I wasn't one like, oh, here we go. Man, I was eager. When they told me, this Sunday, you got to rest, don't serve. I'll be sad because, man, I want to serve. I just want to be close to the anointing. I grew up in a generation where I didn't need the man of God to tell me, hey, no, all I needed to be is be close. If I could come in the proximity of the anointing of a man of God. Uh, you better preach with me, brother. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I don't need the man of God to shake my hand. Shake my hand, sweetie. I don't need the man of God. All I need to do is be close to the proximity of the anointing right now the church has become so spoiled they want to have the men of god at their disposal whenever they want to people call me all the time well i need to see you last night people told me i came here to see you and i said you cannot see me well why not because you don't understand first of all are you ready for this what do you have on your hands that you're gonna release to this mantle for me to give you my time <laughs> oh i just dropped the bomb well you know we're, we're we're not supposed to do that really you don't understand the prophetic 
No one came to a prophet on the Old Testament empty-handed. If they came empty-handed, they just got a smile. So people say, prophet, can you please, you know, this man is a prophet, you know, can you please prophesy my destiny? You know, and most prophets, they get afraid of people. So they go ahead and, and God says, you are breaking a spiritual law. Because the things that a man of God carry, they're valuable. Oh, Orlando, I'm going to break you free. I'm going to cast every religious devil out of Orlando. All the damage the churches have done to the atmosphere, we're going to destroy it on 2017. So do you want my time? What do you have on your hand? Oh, I'm offended. Then go somewhere else. Hello? You, are you hearing what I'm saying? Every time somebody comes to the White House to meet the president, they didn't just show up and go, Hey, Mr. Trump. Hey, how you doing, bro? Hey, man, I just came here to take a picture. No, you always got to give a gift to a dignitary. Oh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, Google it. Why? Because a man's gift makes room for you. I'm talking Bible. The word gift is not talking about the anointing. The word gift is talking about money. You don't believe me? Google it, study it yourself tonight. Because I have. A man's gift, a man's financial gift will make room for him. And it will cause you to be before great men. You know why the influence of truly anointed men of God has been watered down when it reaches the people? Because they see men of God as, oh, hey, Rich, hey, Rich, hey, honey. If I'm your honey, you will never receive from my mantle. If I'm rich, you will never receive from my mantle. If I'm to you, oh, he's just a man, you will never receive from my mantle. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Because if we are playing soccer on the field, you can call me rich. But when you come within the proximity of the place that the mantle is covered, I'm no longer rich to you. I'm not hate to you. I'm a prophet with an assignment and a blessing that can be released upon your life. Well, that's pride. I don't believe it. That's what you are like you are. We're going to change the mindset of America when it comes to this. So, Prophet Rich, I came all the way from three hours away. I came to see you. I need one hour of your time now. Oh, really? What do you have on your hands? Well, I got nothing, man, because, you know, uh, oh, really? Are you going to go eat McDonald's afterwards? Yeah, okay, then you have something on your hands. Because my time is too valuable to waste it on people that don't honor the gift that is upon me. Oh, I never heard this before. Welcome. What you honor will honor you back. Don't be deceived. Whatsoever a man sows, the same shall he reap. You sow lack of respect, don't expect respect. Oh, Jesus. You know why my little girl respects me? Because I respect her too. I'm not a dictator. Go, I'm the daddy. You do what I say. No. Sometimes she goes, daddy, you don't have to raise your voice at me. And I have to go, honey, forgive me. I can go, I'm your dad. Shut up. But if I want her to respect me, I so respect. So my little girl will call me on it many times. Daddy, you don't have to be the heart with me. I don't know where you learned that. And I go, I'm sorry, honey. I will not be it next time. You know why you respect me so much? Because I'm so in respect. I'm going to drill this into your heads and I'm going to get you rid of religion that abounds in Orlando. A man's gift will make room for you. That's why some of my close friends can never receive from me because I'm their body. That's what God told me several years ago. Cut all friends out. I used to have a lot of friends in Orlando. I cut them all. My wife will tell you. All of them, I cut them off. They got offended. I didn't care. Because every time I see you, hey, bro, hey, what up, bro? And I say, you don't understand. Bro was 20 years ago. Now there's a man telling me. You don't, no, don't give me that nonsense, man. Yeah, I, I saw you on this. And I uh, don't, you don't understand. 
So I cut him off. I told my wife this, and she will tell you. I say, honey, I am your husband. But when I'm under that mantle of the prophetic, I am not your husband. I'm the prophet and the man of God that God has put for you to benefit and prosper. Believe the prophets and so shall you prosper. So do not be deceived. Whatsoever a man sows, the same shall he reap. What do you want from God? You have to be willing to release something before you get it. It's a principle. You know, it's funny. In Africa and in Asia, they live this principle. In America and Europe, they're too good for that. Yet the church in Africa, I've been in Africa seven times. Everybody thinks, oh, let's send a little donation for the African church in Nigeria so they can put some shoes and socks on. Poor little black boys that they're dying. No, they're not dying. Because the body of Christ in Nigeria and in Africa, it turned out from being poor beggars on the 70s to multi-millionaires and businessmen in this generation. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Why? Because I saw something when I went to Africa that blew my mind away. And you went with me a couple times, I think, Joe. The men of God, to them, is not, hey, bro. That's my bishop. That's my prophets. If they speak, I'll believe. When I'm in their presence, I honor them. Man, I was in Nigeria. I never forget this. I was with the pastors on the back, and there was a line of people. And I didn't know why. And then I saw them come in, and they will come to the bishop. There was a well-known bishop in the city. And they all came to him, and they all line up. And this is very unusual. If you're from Africa, you know what I'm talking about. And they will come to him, and, they will, and, and they, will, they will kneel down and give him their offering and for a blessing. And the man of God will lay their hands and says, go home, son. You're blessed. And, and I'm going like, my, my religious man went like, nobody bows. But that's cultural in Africa. And I asked the pastor, why do you let that? And he says, you don't understand the culture, not the scripture. I said, they're honoring the mantle over my life. And that's why they're prosper. Oh, you don't, you don't, you need to go to Africa for a month. I'm going to bring a lot of used clothes to give to the poor little Africans. No, they're going to send you back with a lot of new clothes. Are you hearing what I'm saying? When you learn to honor, it releases the blessing of the mantle. <laughs> I, Jesus, help these people to set them free from the bondage of religion. Can, can I tell you a couple more points? Listen to this. The fastest way to partake of a man's anointing is to sow into an anointing of a man that you want something from. All right. Well, I just want him to lay hands on me and impart his anointing. Oh, really? God is not cheap. The fastest way is you have to sow. When you understand the soil of a prophetic anointing, your seed will, bring, will begin to produce multiplication. Now let me finish with this. I know Doug for many years and I met Mark. And Doug. Before when they first came to my ministry, I was rich to them. Hey, rich. Hey, rich. And I don't mind that. Hey, rich. Their life was normal. Then suddenly one day, they got revelation. And out of nowhere, I didn't say nothing. They, they say, you know what? You are a prophet. And when they began to say, man of God, prophet of God, suddenly their prosperity came to them. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You're Latino, you're struggling on your chair because you're bound to this of poverty that just wants to take a hand down. How do I know that? Because I was like that. As soon as the shifting on the mindset came, the blessing of that mantle was released upon them. 
And I'm here to tell you tonight, you must learn in 2017 to discern the soil that you're standing in front of. You must understand it. When you understand the soil that is before you, with this I'm going to finish. Listen, it is up to you to sow the seed that will produce your blessing. It's not up to God. It is up to you. Somebody say the prophetic anointing brings increase. Say in 2017, my life will increase when I recognize the soil that is in front of me. You see, when I, when I go to Hawaii, because I was raised in Hawaii, my wife is from Puerto Rico. They have these beautiful plumeria trees. They have beautiful, colorful flowers. Summertime in Puerto Rico and Hawaii, the streets are full of mangoes that are rolling on the street because of the, ab the abundance of mangoes. And one time I bought mango seeds and I put it in my yard in, in Orlando. Many no mangoes came up, and what came up was green, bitter, and ugly. Yet in Hawaii, they're big and juicy. And I asked the Hawaiians, what's going on? You gave me the wrong stuff. And he goes, no, you need the right climate and the right soil for what you want to grow. And Orlando has no soil for mangoes. I said, but Hawaii, you throw it anywhere, and it produces mango trees. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And I pray right now, I decree and declare that God will open your eyes, and you will discern the soil and as you begin to release your seed in the proper soil that abundance will come your way lift up your hands and say abundance will come my way poverty shall be no more in jesus name do you understand what i'm saying praise the lord there is so much i can tell you about this but I want you to re-listen to this on social media. Because deliverance from poverty and lack is not up to God. It's up to you. Wow. Wow. Say it again. <laughs> Thank you. Deliverance from poverty and lack is not up to God. It's up to you. Oh, God, help me to have money to pay my bills. God says, you have principles that I've given you for you to operate so you can have, so you can pay your bills. Christianity has become so religious. We want God to do it all. Oh, no, Lord, I don't believe that. I only want you to give it to me because you're God and you're big. And God is not impressed with your sweet talk. Hello? Hello? In 2017, discern the soil. When Doug prospered, he discerned the soil. And his seed got him breakthrough. When Diego prospered, he didn't have to go, oh God, he discerned the soil. Because to Diego, I was rich. And then suddenly, I became prophet. And that's when the blessing came through. Uh, oh, are you exalting yourself? No, I'm not. I'm teaching your biblical principles. Be free from poverty. You're talking to a South American that I grew up in poverty, that I grew up with nothing. High school education, I live from paycheck to paycheck. I live like many of you, could not pay my bills, so I put it on credit cards, and then I put it on another credit card, and I live like that, and I cannot afford to pay more than $700 a month on rent, and the only cars I could have was 20-year-old cars all beat up, and that's all I could have until God gave me the breakthrough. 20 years went by, and I never got a breakthrough until God says, because the power is within your hands. What do you have on your hands? And I say nothing. God says, put something and release it. God. Look at your hand. And say, what I put on my hand. Put my hand. And I'm willing to release. It will bring me breakthrough. I say prophetic men today. I declare 2017 will be breakthrough for many of you that believe the word that I'm preaching. 
If you got to analyze it, if you doubt it, 2018, you'll be on the same spot you are right now. But I'm telling you something, me and some of you, by next this January, we are going to be in another place financially. We're going to own our houses. We're going to have our businesses. Our children are going to go to the best schools. We are going to get out of the project and go into the house that we want. We are not going to go and beat up cars. Are you hearing what I'm saying? We are going into breakthrough because of what we release from our hands the sower went to the field and he threw seed if you look at the bar the, in youtube a sower throwing seed they don't they don't the, uh, this is what they do you can see it. they have a bag here and they're doing this nobody sows seed like this Look it on you too. The sower gets the big. You know what I'm talking about? And he throws it. See, why? Because if you give generously, you will produce great harvest. If you want to be meticulous, 2017, go, go like this, go like this. 2017, do prophetic significance. I will release seed. And seed will produce harvest that I never had before in every area of my life. Somebody say, I receive it now. Take it. Take it. Take it. Somebody take it today. Breakthrough is coming your way. Deliverance is coming your way. Prosperity is coming your way. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Somebody say, I take it. Sit down. You know what happened right now? By teaching, I was plowing on your unbelief. For the last 20 minutes, some of you are going like, mm, mm, mm. that's not what my pastor said. That's not what my pastor said. And in the late, not last few minutes, boom, we cracked the thing and release came your way. <laughs> oh, you need to hear what I'm saying. <laughs> How many of you are tired of poverty? How many of you are tired of living from bill to bill? Somebody said 2017. I will see what I've never seen before. My business will double and triple. My breakthrough will come. Just as I heard the testimonies, my breakthrough will come. Say it, my breakthrough will come. If I am willing to do what they did. That's the key. <laughs> Are you ready to receive? Let's get ready to give right now. Let's just get an envelope on everybody's hand right now because there's an atmosphere to release. To release. I'm not going to tell you what to do, but you're going to throw seed today in the, in the release of this atmosphere. You are going to get the biggest seed you've ever given God. Well, I'm only going to give God one dollar because I don't know you. Keep your dollar because that's not how it works. Get your seed right now in your houses. Get ready. Some of you is the thousand dollar seed. Some of you is the ten thousand dollar seed. Some of you is the hundred, the two hundred. Release the seed now. In your houses, go to my website richverba.com and release a seed in this very moment. There's an atmosphere. Pick up the instrument, Joe, to release seed right now. Come on, let's do it because there's an atmosphere for this. Come on, really see, especially you, you that are in poverty, you that live from check to check, especially you. Release it. Suelta ahora lo que está en tu mano para que Dios pueda traer incremento en tu vida. No more poverty. You can write your checks to VOH. If you need to give through a credit card, come over here quickly. My assistant Teresa will run your car. If you need to give to a charge card, get over here now. There's an anointing. Pick it up, brother. There's an anointing for release now. Oh, hallelujah. Miracle jobs are coming your way. Miracle money is coming your way. Miracle businesses are coming your way. Increase shall come on your business. Girls, increase will come in your business. An increase will come in your business. In the name of Jesus. Release it today. 
If you're going to write a check, write it to B-O-H right now. In your houses, send your seed now. And you're going to put it in the prophet's hand tonight. Come on, release that seed. Don't pick a little seed. Disperse it. That's what generosity is. Some of you, God is going to talk to you to stretch yourself on a significant seed of breakthrough. Obey God now in Jesus' name. If you have a credit card, come up and stand on this side. And everybody praying in the Holy Ghost while you prepare your seed. I see, I hear, prof I can sense prophetic activity right now. As you prepare your seed, go ahead and pray in the Holy Ghost. There's something that's going to be released here tonight. Algo se va a desatar en la atmósfera. Hay una impartición profética para tus finanzas, para tu vida, para tus negocios. Desata lo que está en tu mano ahora. Lift up your envelopes if you're ready. Because you are about to throw some seed in prophetic soil that will produce prophetic breakthroughs. In your houses, quickly, go to my website now. Do it now. And watch what God will do for you. Come on, lift up your seat and pray in the Holy Ghost. Come on. Yeah, worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. For you are holy. Oh. Are you Lord God? is gonna so see pick it up baby we come into agreement father whatever my wife is believing for i come into agree oh yeah i know for that house she's believing for father as she sold that seed into this prophetic anointing she will have that house she's believing for she will have that house and it'll be better than what she's believing for in jesus name come on come on pray the holy ghost Something is going to happen. Something is going to happen. That's right. That's right. That's right. Oh, there's an opening in the heaven. There's an opening. Hay una apertura en el cielo ahora. Una apertura para enrupimiento profético. Una apertura para bendición. Una per there's an opening in the heaven for prophetic release. There's an opening for breakthrough in the finances. There's an opening for abundance. Believe it. Believe it. Believe it. Believe it. Creelo. Holy, come on, pick it up. It's something up there, brother Joe. The anointing of the Lord after this, okay? Come on, pick up your offering right now. That's your seed. Prophetically, release it, but don't throw it. Just prophetically. Prophetically. Propheticamente suelta la semilla, pero no la solté todavía. Prophetically. Prophetically release it for increase in your business, for increase in your finances, in your jobs. Oh. Power of God is gonna hit. Come on, lift it up, lift it up, lift it up. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree and declare, I decree and declare that there's a mighty breakthrough in this atmosphere being released to every person that believes the word of the prophet. If you act upon the word of the prophet, there shall be increase. There shall be breakthroughs. Poverty shall go away. Lacks a, Lisandra, a miracle job is coming your way. A miracle job is coming your way. Receive it today. Miracle jobs out of debt. The anointing of the Lord. When I count to three, you are going to run up here. Take this out. Pick up, pick it up, my brothers. An anointing of it. When I count to three, you're going to run up here and you're going to throw your seed here on the altar. Quickly. One, two, three. Run. Release it. Show it. Show it. Show it. Siembrala. Show it. Show it. In tus casas. Anda mi página web y siembra ahora. 
in your houses go to richvera.com so right now the anointing the anointing of the Lord breaks the yoke of bondage the anointing of the Lord sets the captive free the anointing of the Lord of the Lord, my brother. In the anointing of the Lord. Breaks the yoke of bondage. bondage. The anointing of the Lord. Give me oil, oil. I say give me oil. Captive free. The anointing of the Lord. Bring rivers to your desert. That anointing is raining. On In your houses, get ready. God is going to release a prophetic breakthrough into your life. This is the season where poverty will be gone. Lack will be gone. I declare and I prophesy miracle jobs, miracle money, miracle breakthroughs in the area of money. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hey. Everybody praying in the Holy Ghost. Something is going to be released here today. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Oh, I feel power here. I feel power here. I feel power here. Are you ready? I feel the power of God. Are you ready? Are you ready, guys? Are you ready then? Are you ready, my brother? The anointing of the Lord sets the captive free. Pray in the Holy Ghost, come on. The anointing of the Lord brings rivers to your death. I'm going to release an impartation. Oh. Anointing. Are you the impartation that will come to say this tonight? It's the anointing that is raining on me. When I count to three. I feel fire on my hands and the Lord tells me to release it upon you when I count to three and this is going to be radical but I believe God when I count to three if you want that impartation of that anointing that is residing on my hands for blessings you're going to run up here and you're going to touch my hands and the power of God is going to be transferred please do not hug me do not put me on top of you do not scratch me you just touch my hands and there'll be an impartation because God said whatever you touch today I will release a blessing upon this pray in the Holy Ghost when I count to three you're going to get up here and you're going to have contact with my hands and power of God is going to hit you come on the anointing of the Lord brother Joe Pray the Holy Ghost. Pray the Holy Ghost. The anointing of the Lord breaks the yoke of bondage. Pray the Holy Ghost. The anointing One. of the Lord. Hoy día se desata una impartición profética. There's a prophetic impartation today. The anointing of the Lord brings rivers to your desert. It's the Are you ready? Two. Are you ready? Three. The anointing of the Lord sets the captives free. The anointing of the Lord brings rivers to your desert. That anointing is raining on me.
of the Lord, test the captain free, the anointing of the Lord, brings river to your desert. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Who came with this man? Who came with this man? Come here. How many of you felt that something just super? You said, I've never done that before. Well, prophetic anointings are radical. You just gotta learn to flow with it. Bring me that lady quickly. Touch. Let go of your father. Stand on the side. Sir, your father is supposed to be dead by now. But God is keeping my life. And sir, the situation that goes in your blood and the and the and the and the lack. Am, am I speaking the truth, sir? Yes, sir. There is healing power. <sighs> In the name of Jesus. Somebody say in the name of Jesus. Pick up this gentleman. Give me my towel. Now I cancel that spirit of death. I saw you dying on a table and God kind of like brought you back. But God tells me to cancel the spirit of death and you're gonna begin. To recover and walk without your walker because God is gonna give you a miracle and you're gonna live several years sir to, to testify of the goodness of God I command every sickness and every spirit to come out somebody say come out in the name of Jesus say come out in the name of Jesus son come here it's not anointing that is raining on me. What is the doctor said about your father? Oh my God, there's so much. Um, my father just told my mother just on yesterday he doesn't even want to live anymore. Um, he's got hernia inside of his stomach that's inoperable. Um, he's been told he has uh, Alzheimer's. He's been told that he has... Um, his diabetes. Lift up your hands to the Lord. Fire upon you, sir. Pick up the Father. Somebody say, you shall not die, but you shall live. Touch. Give me your hand. Pick up your leg. Pick up the other. Now pick up the other. Do this. Now walk, Daddy. Walk in Jesus' name. Walk in the name of Jesus. It's that anointing that is raining on me. It's that anointing that is raining on me. He's not going to die, but he's going to live. Sir, what are you feeling on your body? The pain in my leg. You had the pain where? Yeah. My knees. Is the pain there? Yeah, there's no cartridge. It's just there. Uh, what happened now? <laughs> I think it's gone. Say it again. 
It's gone. God. Pick up your legs. It's that anointing that is raining on me. Lift up your hands. It's that anointing. Glory, jump in there. The anointing of the Lord. Come on. The anointing of the Lord. The yoke of bondage. Somebody say you will not die, but you will live. The anointing of the Lord brings rivers to your desert. It's that anointing that is raining on you. That is raining. Once again, the anointing of the Lord is going to rain on her. The anointing of the yoke of bondage. The anointing of and it's okay. the Lord. Trust me, it's okay. It's okay. Sister Cat. Lift up your hands to the Lord, Mom. The anointing of the Lord. Brings rivers. That is raining on you. On your knees. It's that anointing. That is raining on you. I cancel it. In the name of Jesus, somebody say, In the name of Jesus, pick her up. That's right, keep it up. Right? Touch now, touch now. Touch. Oh, that's it. That's it. Free the anointing of the Lord brings rivers. Lift up your hands and receive it. It's that anointing that it's raining on you. Pick up. It's that anointing that it's raining. The anointing of the Lord. Oh, my father. The anointing of the Lord. The captain. The anointing of the Lord brings rivers to your desert. It's that anointing. Move your legs, sister. Move your legs. You on the ground. Move your legs. Tell her what I'm saying, Doug. Move your legs. Come on. Move her. Pick her up. Come here. Get next to your mom. What is wrong with your mom? She experienced um, deep depression and anxiety. She's afraid to go out of the house. And why is she on the walker? She has a hard time walking. She's developed asthma over time. Dear sister, God is going to let go of her, honey. God is going to deliver you. Somebody say, in the name of Jesus. I command that demon to come out of your body now. Now. Ouch. Come on. Somebody say, go! Now! It's that anointing that is raining on you, on you. It's that anointing that is raining on you. What happened to you today, Papa? I believe God has healed me. We believe so. Yeah. Is the pain gone? I'm not going to claim it. Move your legs. Do something you could not do before. When was the last time you saw your dad walk like this? Wow. Um, he doesn't know. He fell down three times in one day. Walk, Papa, and pick up your legs. And God is going to do a miracle on that tumor you have. And God is going to shrink that tumor. We command that tumor to go. Ordenamos este tumor que se resuelva. This tumor shall go out of your body. You will pass it in the grain. Ah. 
Somebody say yes. Yeah. Pick a mom. Thank you. It's that anointing that is waiting. Ma'am, give me your hand. What do you just feel on you? The Holy Spirit. You felt something come out of you, didn't you? Yes. Yeah, that there was out. Come and walk. Walk, walk. Walk, 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 walk. Pick up that thing on high. Pick it up. Walk, 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 walk. Hey! Somebody say yes! Keep on walking, mama. Keep on walking. Follow her, Diego. Keep on walking. Run whenever you want to run. Let the prophet Elijah run, mama, run. Hey. It's God anointing that is raining. Run over there, come on. It's not by might nor by power, Joe. Somebody say, no more. Come here, mom. How do you feel? Dizzy. <laughs> the Holy Ghost and you sister <laughs> it's not my eloquence or talent that God's work is done give me that child out of the way he shouldn't be here it's not by he needs to be with the kids no by power but it's by my spirit okay bring me come here Elijah come here baby come here how do you know that come here he wants to give me something I will not deny a child. Come here. Come here, baby. That's my nephew, you know? Come here. Come here, honey. I'm right here. I'm right here. Stay here, baby. You give me a seed of $20. Give that to me. To give. I declare your future shall be prosperous. And I declare you'll grow up to be a man of God. A prophet in the name of Jesus. Somebody say amen to that. Somebody say amen to that. Thank you, my wife. Thank you, Prophet Elijah. Now you can go and play with the kids. Come here. Take your seats if you want. We're about to be done soon. What's wrong with you? I'm blind. I can see. So if you can see, how can you be blind? Well, I have what they call maternally inherited diabetes and deafness disorder. I'm also deaf with it, without hearing aids. But I also suffer from depression. Uh, and this is your walking cane because you're partially blind. Okay. Who is this precious woman next to you? Neighbor, come over here. You feel good? You feel good? It's okay. <sighs> Take another drink. Just lay there and rest. Don't worry about your crack. We all have one. <laughs> Pastor, hold this. Lift up your hands to the Lord, woman. Then lift up the one that's good. I declare in the name of Jesus. Let me hear that river. I declare in the name of Jesus. That that spirit of infirmity comes out of your body to them. I command that demon to come out now. Gloria, jump in there. Holy is your name, and we worship you. Spirit. If you came here with a cane, with a walker, or something like that to aid you on walking, get over here quickly. Have that a cane a walker I don't know wheelchair but but get over here like like quick holy is your name you are mighty oh I know the precious man que lo conozca ese varón de Dios 
let all the earth would you all raise your hands and just give praise and glory to Jesus I'm about to lay hands on everybody and release prophetic words pick up this precious lady God is healing you're gonna sleep so good tonight mama you're gonna sleep so good tonight You feel a little dizzy, don't you? Because he just bounced over you and came on me. Because God's going to take all that sadness out of you. And God's going to give you rest. <sighs> just receive it. Figure out. I remember you from that funeral. Now in English. name of Jesus Padre en el nombre de Jesús desata tu poder milagroso sobre este cuerpo haz un milagro creativo sobre él que sus piernas sus huesos, sus músculos sean restaurados para la gloria de tu nombre en el nombre de Jesús Gentle. You are holy. What happened on your arm, mom? What? What happened on your arm? It's a muscle weakness due to the diabetes. In the name of Jesus. I command that weakness and the power of God to strengthen your muscles. Free in the name of Jesus. Gloria, jump in there. Holy is, Holy is your name. Are you ready for to be anointed? Glory to Jesus. Listen, these last four days have been amazing. God has visited us from heaven in an incredible way. Every Sunday at five o'clock, we have services here. I'm establishing a center for revival and healing to the nations. I'm not your typical pastor church. I'm a revivalist and a prophet. This is what we do. We started that place from here, from Ultimate Springs. We're going to touch the nations of the world. If you're tired of dead religion and boring church and cheesy whatever, come and join us because we can shake the world with the power of God. I say we, I didn't say I. I preach uncompromisingly. If you don't like it, all the churches are watering down the Bible, you can go join them. But in this place, demons tremble and are cast out. In this place, miracles take place. And in this place, heavens are open and prosperity and breakthrough and deliverance and salvations take place in this mantle. If God is speaking to you about more than just boring dead church attendance, I'm not looking for members. I'm looking for warriors to join hands and fight. I don't care about members that warm a bench. I'm tired of the chairs being stained with your color jeans. But the Bible says you shall receive power. And then you shall be a witness all over the place. How many of you want power to be a witness? Every Sunday, that I call this place the center for revival and healing to the nations. You give me one year of your life under this mantle. And you'll be walking in the blessings that I'm walking well, how can you say that? Because the mantle that's on me will rest upon you and your family. Your children will be saved. Your marriages will be restored. Demons will come out of you. Sickness will break out of your house. And you will be abundantly blessed with money. Oh, let me say it again. You will have a lot of money and money left over. You 
you say why because that's what I have and so shall you have are you hearing what I'm saying you are mighty pastor Reuben it's a great joy to see you here my brother what did you feel come on you when I pray for you Pardon me. what happened when I pray what happened when you prayed I had more my, uh, more freedom in the arm so I found it felt like there was something that was leaving you feel something release you yes well God has begun the process of deliverance where do you go to church I go to the Orlando Calvary okay I don't know Orlando Calvary but Oh, Calvary Assembly. He used to be alive in the 70s with Roy Harden. And then dead pastors came over and killed the whole thing. But if that place is dead, get out of there and come join us and you'll be restored 100%. Take your seat. Oh, how dare you talk like that? Because I can. It's the truth. You know, there's nothing worse than religion to kill the move of God in your lives. Pick up this man. Gently. Just hold him up because he's still weak. That, that bring, bring his thing, his ass. ¿Qué sintió cuando oré por usted? Poder. Poder. ¿Sintió alguna clase de algo diferente o cualquier cosa? ¿O solamente el poder de Dios? Sentí que Dios me, me decía que yo era una semilla. He said, when I was in the power of God, I felt God telling me, I am a seed. Que debía sembrarme en las manos. De él y de un, a través de un profeta. And he says that I should sow my life into the hands of God through the prophets. Una semilla. That all of us are seeds que va a dar un fruto. that will produce fruit. Que esperemos. And we should await for it. Sembremos. And we should sow our lives. Que esperemos. La... And we should see the harvest. Well, my brother, I lay my hands on you. Pongo mis manos sobre ti para que el manto profético que trae restauración venga sobre tu vida en el nombre de Jesús oh something almost almost got it almost tricked him into it bless this man this is a catholic charismatic brother loves the holy spirit a great great men of God right here that loves God and have seen the power of the Holy Spirit and he's Catholic charismatic can you believe that isn't that wonderful and he has more Holy Ghost than most Pentecostals sitting in this church God I should have been a priest not a preacher but my problem was this I like my wife and I like kids so I could not <laughs> so I had to get married so I couldn't qualify to be a priest <laughs> gentlemen let's pick this man and let's help him to his chair are you from Orlando you better come and join me every Sunday I leave it up to you where do you go to church where do you go to church Papa I don't, you don't. where do you go to church Winter Park is there a spirit filled church okay yes. good I go, there. I go to church the power of God moves there yes yeah he moves the power of God uh, yeah I want that anointing that I can touch somebody and the power of God would go on like this <laughs> <laughs> like that yeah <laughs> then take it <laughs> he says I want Dice, yo quiero esa unción, quiero tocar a alguien que el poder fluya. Take him to his chair. Praise the Lord. I want all the couples first, husband and wife, if you're here first, 
Come on, line. I'm here quickly, please. Be careful with this man. Take this, this walker. Put it aside. Belongs to that sister over there. Come on, Flo. Holy Spirit. Husband and wife first. Esposo y esposa primero. And then I'm going to go to the... To the lonely ones. <laughs> I'm joking. To the single ones. <laughs> let's, let's remain in the anointing, right? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, as I lay my hands on them, and as I release what you give me for them, let breakthrough come. Cuando pongo mis manos sobre ellos, Señor, lo que me das para ellos, que venga un irrumpimiento sobre la vida de ellos, en el nombre de Jesús. Come on and rise within that instrument. Un tiempo de impartición y un tiempo de visitación. Porque el Espíritu Santo visera, visitará tus vidas en tu cama. Y serás lleno con el poder de Dios que has anhelado. Y verás la gloria de Dios fluir en tus manos. Porque Dios dice, has dejado todo para seguirme. Y Dios me dice que te diga, el año 17 será un año de visitación sobrenatural. Donde tu ministerio no solamente será en palabras, pero será en demostración de poder. Y traeré prosperidad como nunca has tenido antes. Desato ese manto. Ahora de esa unción. Catch him, be careful, catch him. Precious pastor here. Teresa, I want to connect with these pastors. Thank you, Jesus. What do you do for work, sister? You're a realtor. Father God, I bless them and everything this woman touches. Now I declare the fire comes on their lives and their congregation will explode and be multiplied. And I declare that you will bless her in the next few months. She will sell more than she's ever sold in real estate as a sign that the favor and the grace is upon you. And I declare, Lord, that many books will come out of them. And I declare that the media shall hear their, hear their voices. And you will lead them to the region that they will have impact. I anoint her today for a double portion of increase. And I anoint this man of God for a double anointing of fire in the name of Jesus. God bless you. There is healing coming to you. Habla español. Hay español, inglés. Hay sanidad que va a venir sobre tu cuerpo en esta temporada. El Señor va a, va a desatarte de un espíritu de opresión que te ha tenido atada. Y Dios me dice que el gozo de Jehová será tu fortaleza. En este año verás la mano de Dios moverse en maneras sobrenaturales sobre tu vida. Y Dios dice que Él visitará tu casa, tu familia. Y verás que regresarán a los caminos de Dios. Porque es el tiempo en que Dios va a ponerte en el pozo de la unción de Dios. Y hay restauración para toda área de tu vida. I thank you, Lord God, for the changes coming on 2017. The change that's coming on their marriage. The change that's coming on their relationship with you in their walk. In the ministry that you have assigned for them. For this is the season where I will rearrange and I will change the thing that have caused trouble in the past. For I will cause the road to be smooth. And the Lord says, I will deal with you privately. And my spirit will change you. And the Lord says the day will come that you will stand and you will preach my gospel. And you'll testify of the miracle that I have done. And I will do in your marriage. Get ready. Because house of restoration is coming. 2017. 2017. Oil, my friend. And a little bit of water for the prophet. This pastor and his wife, they're from Texas. They have a church in Texas. He is a prophet and an evangelist and a pastor. God sent them to us this weekend. 
and they are coming under the covering of this ministry because God is going to take him to another dimension. Many of you, God is calling you to come under the covering of this ministry. You need to talk to me after service. But I declare, where's the oil? Because this, there you go. I anoint him today for a new season over you. And I lay my hands on you for the healing to come in every area of your life. And the Lord says, I will cause the spirit of the lion to be upon you, sister. For you will not cry, but you will roar with power. And the Lord says, I will cause those that have spoken evil of you to come back and kneel down and cry before you. For the Lord says, I'm giving you a spirit of restoration where marriages and families and women that have been abused and forgotten will come to you. You will restore them. You will raise them up. This is the season that God is going to put the lion on the inside of you. I release it in the name of Jesus. There's healing for your body organs, healing for your female organs in the name of Jesus. New season, new mantle. I pull you up to a season of acceleration, men of God. To a season of great increase in the spirits. That the mantle that's upon me will rest upon you with a double portion of authority. In the mighty name of Jesus. Close his arms, but don't pick him up at all. There's an impartation going on here. There's an impartition. Where do you go to church, my brother? Kisimi. Kisimi. Oh, perdón. Aquí en Kisimi, ¿verdad? Kisimi. Mi hermano querido, Dios ha hecho tantas cosas por tu vida. Dios la ha salvado a él de una perdición y una muerte segura. Pero Dios me dice, prepárate que te va a dar un ejército de jóvenes que tú vas a traer a los pies de la cruz de Cristo. Porque Dios ha puesto una unción en ti para liberar jóvenes de las pandillas, de las drogas, del espíritu del mundo. Porque Dios te va a levantar con una voz de autoridad y yo declaro que una unción viene sobre ti para ministrar. Oh. Prophetic revelations, prophetic dreams, prophetic impartations. And God says, I'm about to increase you financially. Do not be afraid. Because I will give you double for all the trouble you went through. In the name of Jesus. Doble por todo lo que has pasado, me dice el Señor. Enas y Rose. God bless you. You are from Pastor Ruben's church. Uh, Pastor Sean, okay. Yeah, you're right, you're right, Pastor Sean. Sir, there's an anointing on you with numbers and with digits and with, there's an administrative anointing on you that God is going to cause, sir, for you to be a pillar in the house of God. But not only that, there's an anointing to teach with revelation that is going to blow people's minds. Because God tells me to tell you this is the season that I will visit you. And I will open the word to you and you shall receive revelation that your mind will buzz for days. And the Lord says that revelation will bring a triple increase in the financial arena of your life. For the Lord says, I will even cause you to inherit a business. And I will cause you to do a business that you shall be a man that is going to be wealthy because of the blessing and the wisdom that I'm giving you in this season, says the Lord. Healing. Ben <sighs> Baraka. Woo. La camisa. Eso. Touch. Hay una impartición, there's an impartation. Touch. Pick him up. Este hombre nunca más será el mismo después de hoy día. He will never be the same after today. Bring him to me. Touch. There will be no prostate issues on you. I cancel every issue with your prostate. Declaro que tu próstata no te dará problemas mientras estés vivo en el nombre de Jesús
español o inglés Sí, por favor así será yo te bendigo hoy día y un espíritu de intercesión y adoración sobre ti y Dios me dice métete al río de la presencia de Dios porque vas a entrar a un nivel de intercesión y adoración que va a traer restauración masiva a tu familia entera la casa de tus padres, tus hermanos será visitada con el poder del Espíritu Santo yo desato los ángeles de Jehová alrededor de tu familia extendida y yo declaro que serás una adoradora con poder y espíritu Don't ask me to translate, trust me, it's good. Gracias, Jesús. Yo declaro que este hombre prosperará, prosperará, crecerá y también te servirá en la casa de Jehová. Aleluya. Yo declaro sobre Diego y Lorena, Señor, que el manto que está sobre mí para prosperar. Y para tener oportunidades raras y únicas Estará sobre ella en el ambiente político Señor Levántala a un nivel nacional Que llegue el Señor a ser diputada Y llegue a ser intendente Y que llegue a lugares de influencia A nivel país, a nivel región yo declaro que le darás puertas con gente de influencia Y que esta mujer se sentará con la esposa del presidente Porque Dios me dice te abriré la puerta Y la esposa de Macri se sentará contigo Y orarás con ella Y soltarás palabras sobre ella Y habrá sanidad y paz que vendrá a ella Yo te unjo ahora oh, manda saca. ¡Wow! <risa> Padre bendigo a mi amigo Diego Seis veces más de lo que ha prosperado No solamente en Argentina Pero en todo Sudamérica Pero Padre te pido Que tenga un encuentro sobrenatural Con el Espíritu Santo Y que sea un adicto Al Espíritu Santo de Dios Diego en este año Vas a ser muchas veces Más de lo que has hecho En este año pasado que fue muy bueno Pero Dios dice porque has Servido y has honrado al profeta Y has prohibido para él Y has abierto tu casa Como si fuera la casa del profeta Y has puesto tu servicio A los pies del profeta Dios dice que vendrá una bendición Sobre tu empresa, tu negocio Y Dios te hará un millonario Con dólares como nunca Has experimentado en el nombre de Jesús Yo me compré un terreno en Argentina Y yo debía 30 mil dólares Me tomó años para pagarlo Y vino este católico y me dijo Yo reconozco que eres un profeta Y Dios me dice al católico Que te pague el terreno Y desde ahí su prosperidad se extendió 100 veces más Let me say it in English. I bought me a little land in Argentina. It took me years to pay it. This man is Catholic, hardcore Catholic. Every time I go to Argentina, he opens his doors to me. He says, my house is your house. And one day he says, God spoke to me that I need to pay your land. He paid the almost $30,000 of my land and his business went a hundred times more and became a millionaire. If God can do it for the Catholic, he can do it for you. Si Dios lo hace con el católico amigo, mi mejor amigo, lo hace por tu vida. Porque el que le da un vaso de agua a un profeta, recibe bendición de profeta. Lorena trabaja en la política. Cuando voy a Argentina, ella es una hija espiritual, me sirve, me honra, me cocina, me haga la ropa, me cuida como mi mamá. Y Dios me dijo, ¿cuál es tu sueño? Y me dijo, yo quiero tener influencia en la política. Y pasó de ser una concejal distrital a tener relación con el presidente, diputado, senador y tener peso en el país. ¿Por qué? Porque el que honra al profeta recibe bendición de profeta. She's a very influential government official in Argentina. She was a local official when I found her. Every time I go to her house. She treats me like her son. She cooks for me, hours my clothes. And she goes, I'm not doing it only for one reason, because you are a prophet. 
And I told her one day, what is your dream? She goes, I want to have influence in the polit political world of this nation. And I say, you shall be. And now she's influential with the president and senators and the highest officials in her country. Because when you sow into a when you serve a prophet, you receive profit rewards. Are you hearing what I'm saying? This is not about me. It's a spiritual principle that in 2017, God wants to activate in your life. The ones that are here without your husband, meaning you are married and your husband is not here. Come over quickly. Those are the ones that are not lonely. The husband is just not here. They go home and they'll cuddle with their husband. Do you have a husband? Where is your husband? God bless you, honey. God brought you here today. You've been going through a lot in your life. You're about to quit everything. But God is telling me to tell you, he brought you here to tell you through this prophet. Don't quit. 2017 is going to be your year that God is going to shine the sun over the dark clouds in your house. If you stick to God, if you stick to God and don't listen to the voices that are telling you differently. 2017, I anoint you for a change in Jesus' name. <laughs> Whoa! Is true what I say? Lift up your hands to the Lord. God is going to bless you, man. Do you have children? God is going to bless your family. God is stirring your hearts. You're going to be visited by the angels of God. There are angels that are going to come into your house. I see you around instruments of music. That's what? She has a lot of instruments in her house. She does. You do. I prophesy to you a visitation from God. God bless you, Mama. God is going to touch your husband and do a miracle on him. And God is going to bless you. There's land back home that God. Huh? He didn't want to come. No, he's a knucklehead. I declare change in the name of Jesus. <laughs> and the truth shall set him free. You know, her husband is a successful, successful businessman. He don't come to my church. But he has been tithing into my church from his business for years. And I asked him one time over sushi, why? He says, because I recognize the mantle. And God is going to bless your husband, Elizabeth. And God is going to bless your financial income in you and your household. And tell your husband in 2017, he's going to be almost two, three times the amount of us he's made last year in Jesus' name. Somebody say, I receive it. Now lift up your hands to the Lord. Where is your husband? Call me sick. Sick. Dear sister, God is going to make your marriage to be wonderful. You are going to love your marriage. And God is going to bring such a restoration. You have been wanting to serve God, but things have been holding you back fully. 2017, God tells me to tell you, jump in the river without thinking, and you shall have three times of what you ever asked God in 2016, says the Lord. God, Dios. Español o inglés? Español. Levanta tus manos al Señor. Yo bendigo tu vida. Señor me dice que te regresará a los pozos de avivamiento y de visitación del Espíritu Santo. Porque yo veo en tu casa gente ser ministrada, gente ser tocada por el Espíritu Santo. Y Dios dice, yo sanaré toda herida y yo haré que tu corazón arda con el fuego del Espíritu Santo. Dios te está llamando en esta temporada a un caminar sobrenatural donde tu casa y tu esposo será visitado con el fuego del Espíritu Santo de Dios. Lo desato en el nombre de Jesús. Trust me, it's good. I break every limitation and I break every fear in the name of Jesus. Dear sister, God is going to prosper you, but you're going to preach the gospel. Not only in America, but you're going to go to a different land and proclaim the gospel. Because God is going to cost you, sister, even to write books. You're going to write stuff because the call of God to influence people is upon you. I did release it in the name of Jesus. No more depression. No more oppression. 
no more complaining because God is about to give you the spirit of the lion in the name of Jesus lift up your hands because your days of misery and depression shall come to an end and the Lord says don't worry about it the Lord says I am your husband and I am your provider you walk with me closely and you shall see the hand of the mighty God lift up your hands listen if I already prophesied on you and you want to go you're welcome to next Sunday Teresa will be here right five o'clock connect with us i'm gonna have four times a year the prophetic and healing mantle conference and then i'm gonna have a school of the prophets a school of healing school of deliverance all this year so make sure you give us your mailing address your phone number your email so when we have it and we mail you information you can come and receive an impartation from god angel estás traduciendo bien dios te bendiga of your presence I bless you today and I declare that the struggle in the house will come to an end because God will give you rest rest in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus and the Lord is calling you to plan your roots for this season because the Lord says I'm about to bring a growth and an expansion but you must be planted in the place that I'm calling you to be and the Lord says you are not to fear but this year I want your tree to grow I want <laughs> comprendes inglés en español Dios dice que ese es el año que le está llamándote para que pongas tus raíces profundas en el lugar donde Dios ha asignado porque hay un crecimiento, hay una impartición hay una revelación que Dios tiene y es el tiempo en que te plantes para que Dios traiga el crecimiento en el nombre de Jesús Where do you go to church? I lay my hands on you and I declare that God will give you wisdom and I declare that God will open your ears and your, and your mind that you can learn the things of the spirits. And I declare that every spirit of fear that has tried to touch your life and every generation of curse that has come upon you and your family. I break it. I break it. Break it now. 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 The prophetic brings deliverance. Pick her up. Stretch your hands, please. I break every form of abuse. Out! Now! Come on, Gloria, my dear Gloria. Somebody stretch your hands and pray in the Holy Ghost. Freedom! Freedom! Go, go, go. Quickly, pray, pray, come on, pray, pray. God is breaking stuff. Rosa, levanta to lift up your hands to the Lord. God is going to restore your family. And God is going to cause you to stand in the high places where the enemy will not be able to destroy you nor discourage you. This is a season of anointing for you. I bless you today. Healing is coming your way. In the mighty name of Jesus. Padre, te doy gracias. Que ese será el año donde abrirás el entendimiento y traerás un espíritu de discernimiento como nunca conocido antes. Yo declaro una bendición sobre ella y su casa, pero declaro, Señor, que el Espíritu de Dios que trae discernimiento esté sobre ella como nunca antes, Señor. Que proteja su casa, su vida, su familia, sus negocios, que toda maldad remueva por, con los que quieren robar de ellos. Porque el enemigo ha asignado ladrones en diferentes áreas de tu vida. Y Dios me dice, cierra las puertas. Porque la asignación ha sido para robar y despojarte. Pero yo envío ángeles, dice el Señor, que van a atacar las puertas abiertas. Y este año será un año donde serás transformada. Y la mente de Cristo será revelada. 
en el nombre de Jesucristo. All the single lonely people get over here. I'm going to prophesy a husband to you. <laughs> line from wall to wall, gentlemen. Bring the lines. Everybody take one step closer to me. Shoulder to shoulder, nobody behind anybody. Wow. Qué tiempo tan glorioso. Marta quería. Aquí yo tengo otra mamá. Marta me cuida como mi mamá. Dios bendiga a Marta. So arise to your rest. Raise your hands. Levanten sus manos al Señor. The next line, thank you. You know how. Go around the people, you know. If you have to go, you're welcome to. Make sure the children are back. Next Sunday, five o'clock, same hotel. Make sure you come. It's going to be glorious. Glorious. Become a partner with my ministry. Link under the mantle. Come under my covering. Link with the mantle. This is a season of opportunity. Marta, yo bendigo tu vida. Este año el Señor va a darte la habilidad para generar, generar finanzas para que tengas la libertad de hacer lo que Dios te ha llamado a hacer. Yo declaro que habrá un negocio que Dios abrirá en, en, inclusive en tu propia casa. Y yo declaro que crecerás abundantemente para la gloria de Dios. I lay my hands on you and I declare visitations. Visitations! I'll come back for my precious friends. In the name of Jesus, the joy of the Lord shall come your way. Freedom in your household. In the mighty name of Jesus, receive it. Español o inglés? English. Father, I bless this young girl. Blessing her studies and in her career that she will excel beyond anything anybody on her house or has ever done yeah that's the word for you for you shall do great things great things in this earth for the lord jesus christ i love you all make sure my team is outside with the people get my products get my anointed t-shirts they carry an anointing sign up for my mailing list Gloria, make sure they become partners. Let's follow up out there, my precious Gloria. I bless you today, mom. God says your house shall be blessed. Your children will excel. God says you're going to have a generation that's going to be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. I bless you today. I release it. I release you from every struggle in the name of Jesus. Every fear is broken. Time of breakthrough, the Lord says. Thank you. God is going to bless you, my brother. Money is coming your way in 2017. Money is coming your way. I thank you that her children will serve Jesus in ministry. I release it. I release it. I bless you. You work for the sun rail. I'm going to take a sun rail this week from corner to corner just for the fun of it. So maybe I'll see you there. I bless you. Now. God tells me to tell you, um, dear Lucy, no more fears, no more dilly-dallying, no more indecisiveness. The Lord says, jump in the river, for the years are passing, and there's a great blessing awaiting you and your household. The Lord says, you are the pillar for your house. What happens to you will happen in your house. What don't happen to you will not happen in your house. God says, you're the pillar in your house so if you make a decision your house will be affected for the good God says this is the season do it and come and join my church and no more excuses new season for you and your family God bless you sir Dios te bendiga Bendice. Supernatural protection is coming for you, Natalie. Supernatural protection in your health. 
For the Lord says you will run and your body will feel like the body of a younger woman. Because God is going to give you the supernatural protection. So sickness will not take hold of your bones and your body. For the Lord says you will see a great revival with your own eyes. And you will live to see the move of God that you've been longing for. This is the season for you, my dear sister. And I bless you today. And I declare that the Lord will wait. The Lord is going to start waking you up for intercession in the night. Visions are coming your way. Hallelujah. I bless you today. I say your house shall be free. Your house shall be free. Your house shall be free now. That's it. Thank you, Lord. I bless you today, girls. And I put my anointing upon your life. Because you will be part of my ministry. You will be part of my covering. You will be one of my spiritual daughters. You and your sister. And the blessing that is upon me shall be on you. The authority that's upon me shall be on you. The protection that's upon me shall be on you both. You will go back and things will begin to change before your very eyes. I release it for you. I declare that God will give you a voice to the nations of the world. You're going to be one that's going to trouble the nations of the world, Tanya. And God is going to give you a voice to the nations. And there will be army and armies of young ladies that will follow you to hear the words. The words that, you, that are coming from your mouth. Fire! If you guys lay like that, I can do nothing more. Fire! Let's go on that side one day and recover. Te bendigo en el nombre de Jesús, mamá querida. Yo declaro que el Espíritu Santo bendecirá tu casa y tus hijos. Y los trabajos nunca faltarán. La provisión nunca faltará. Pídeme el deseo de tu corazón, dice el Señor. Y te daré abundancia este año en el nombre de Jesucristo. I bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. I bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. I bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. I bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. You are going to be serving in my ministry soon, young lady here. I bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I bless you, dear sister. And God's going to give you a voice with influential people. You'll be the nobody that influence big bodies. In the name of Jesus Christ. I bless you today. And I declare that the size of your heart are going to be yours in 2017. I bless you, dear sister. Not only you'll be a pillar in your family, but the Lord says, get ready. Because I have put inside of you an anointing to make businesses and businesses. You'll be a businesswoman and you'll be a woman of God. Get ready, plan, dream it, desire, declare it. Don't put limitations and I will make a very wealthy woman on this earth and, is, and a mighty woman of God in the spirit. I anoint you and I bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak peace into your house in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Freedom in the mighty name of Jesus. Freedom for you in the mighty name of Jesus. I bless you today. I say every stronghold in your family is broken. God is going to begin to touch your son. There is restoration. Take it. My Catholic friend. The Holy Spirit is about to fill you like you've never been filled before. In the mighty name of Jesus. Marco, thank you. I bless you. Mark, come and close the service. Are you blessed today? Come on, John John. Are you all blessed today? Come on, quickly. I bless you today. A new season. A new season. God bless you. Then six more. I'll see you next Sunday, 5 o'clock. Here's Mark.